What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to remind you what happened last time, we are being, well we are intercepting uh, the Austrians near Dresden. So we don't yet have wars, so this will be a bit more of a conventional battle, but I feel we have significant enough troops to help cause the demise of the Austrians. We don't have as much as many howitzers as I would like, and let's actually swap these guys around. There we go. I think we've got more than enough men to deal with the enemy at hand, so let's go and destroy them. So because we don't have, well, from what, from what it looks like, we don't have any uh, fortifications, what this means is that we well, we need to fight these kinds of battles to push them away, to prevent them from massing forces outside the gates of our cities and then overwhelming us later on. So sometimes these kind of actions need to be need to be done. Ooh, that's an interesting center, center point. Okay. So let's take two infantry. Spread them out in front of this building. Deploy a set of guns. Not a great field of fire, but they are good enough for good enough for providing support to a, a battle line. Let's deploy two units there. One set of guns, and let's take two units out like so. Again, this gun team is only there to support the battle line. Then we're going to deploy two infantry. She's put a grenadier unit out on the left as well. And on the right, we're going to deploy a militia and a grenadier unit out on the right as well. Group the cavalry together on either flank. The house that was the centre point is going to house my Coureur de Bois, although I can't deploy them in there off, right off the bat. House is in the buildings. Got another unit of artillery that's going to sit up back here and try and do some counter-battery work. Ah, oh, nuts. Getting my skirmishes inside. So, my plan needs to be more like. looking more like over here. So, this artillery here is not quite as useful. That shooting at guys over at the back. So, let's take. bring this artillery all the way back. The job of these men is to hold the town. So we don't have to worry about them for a while. Yeah, come on, we've intercepted you. Let's also deploy our grenadier guards. And our militia. Come on, oh, come on, mouse. Good, my skirmishes are in there. Take it, they've taken up positions as far as they can get. Quick climbs come in, miss the riflemen. So you're going to fire canister shot when you can. You guys drop into square. Quite sure where you're attacking. I'm trying to chase down my grenadiers. Let's 
Hopefully my, hopefully my grenadiers can get into formation quickly. Get the howitzers firing on the flank to try and provide some support for my militia. Those horse guards aren't going to be any trouble over there. Right. Okay, I might have to pivot this line back in order to try and keep some support. Well, so I don't lose my uh, my other front doesn't get too vulnerable. You guys can fire a canister shot at the engineers. It is strange we get these sound bugs. It does mean we lose. It does mean we lose a lot of flexibility because I lose. I don't get the uh, the audio feedback when things have been when things have been done. You facing okay there's a guy that's stuck the wrong way get the cressiers and the lights in because it looks like we're gonna have ourselves a bayonet charge at least they have hit where our grenadiers are cressier hit the marines same with my light infantry bring my cavalry across you guys start blasting the Swiss Grenadiers with canister shot. Who's that coming in? Another unit of Household Cavalry. Just keep my infantry in squares over there. What? Those guys need to turn around and engage them then. Hopefully we can tear... Tear the Marines a new one. Those guys are going to catch my cavalry unawares. I don't quite know what those guys have done. Come on, kill those guys. Foot Jaegers are getting involved, but I think we should be okay. You shoot the Swiss Grenadiers. You guys keep engaging the Grenadiers there. You guys canister shot that unit of guard engineers. The colonial line is upset because they're being charged by the Swiss Grenadiers. They look like they've been waiting for an opportunity to uh, charge my general. But I'm just going to run around them. So you're firing at the Swiss Grenadiers. Why have these guys not... Why have my Grenadiers not cut them open? The Marines and the Jaegers are standing frustratingly. My Cressiers are doing okay. I mean... Because there's no immediate threat from that flank that I need to meet, these guys need to pivot. My skirmishers are also engaging them. Good. Okay, good, 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 good. Colonial Lights, engage the Jaegers. Get my Cressiers along to hit the Sharpshooters. Charge my Militia in to fight the Freikorps. Bring my Light Cavalry across. My Heavies can go hit. Sharpshooters and be careful of that Cavalry line, that Spike line. Oh, just missed quick lime as well you guys try gut the sharpshooters we're gonna lose a few to the spikes by the looks of it I don't quite know what the plan is for those guys oh if they're just after my general then have at it, chaps. I'm just going to run away. Where's my cuirassier? Now those men died there. Colonial Light charge on into those militia. 
Grenadier to guards charge onto the marines here. You guys charge on into that Swiss Grenadier unit. Let's bring you guys back into the Hirsch Regiment. You guys all hit that unit of Swiss Guard. Because these guys will take time to form up. So you should be doing some good work at the Swiss. These howitzers aim at the Swiss line. You guys bayonet charge into the Swiss Grenadiers as well. The Grenadiers finally hit my artillery back here. Sharpshooters in here, Swiss Grenadiers are in here. Hopefully they're going to chase my artillery down, so that way they leave my other men alone. Got to gang up on the Swiss Grenadiers. Curassiers got caught by the General's Bodyguard, but let's fight them and try to kill the General's Bodyguard. Yeah, I haven't got to worry, not for them. You guys hit the riflemen. You guys hit the sharpshooters. Right. You guys. Pack up your square formations and fall back. A lot of cavalry here fighting the general's bodyguard. A lot of guys fighting the sharpshooters. Right. Now back you get. These men form ranks to beat the militia. Grenadier guards can still hunker down here. Colonial militia also form ranks. Where's our reinforcements coming in from? It's a pretty good place actually. So the general's bodyguards charge my square. These guys can run away. Go. We've hit the general's bodyguard. My crossiers can charge in. My general's going to fall back. It looks like these guys are. F someone's hitting my militia. They're still capable of hitting me. So let's fall. Well, right now, you guys actually form up to hit. Then let's limber up our artillery. Swiss line is sturdy. Mortars. Cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. You get around the flank to take out the mortars. My infantry is going to push up and knock out that regiment of infantry there. The marines have been repelled. or well, the guards have been repelled. Form up our new battle line. You guys limber up. Howitzers can go over here. Okay, you guys. Okay, every, okay, you all. Everyone's running away. So let's set my general to go straight after the mortars. You guys also run up here and take up position there. You also abandon ship because you're being hit. We're going after my militia, which is nice of them. My artillery appears to be bugged. In which case, then try run away. Nope, apparently not. You guys need to run, not walk. They could well route, but if they do, that wouldn't be a terrible thing. See this, yeah, this cavalry unit it's bugged. I, 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 I mean, I don't think it's the, the fence that's in the way per se. You 
but let's create new line all the same. Felt Yaga Safiad are chasing us down. Intercept them with our colonial light. Or at least try to. I wanted to intercept them to try and hold them off at range. Yeah, they, they haven't got the range of their howitzers to hit me yet. Good. 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 Run up that new wing of infantry. Open up and engage the Feltjäger. Don't mind about the Colonial Cav. They are weak. Bring General back. I don't mind if they kill my artillery. The sooner the better. At least you've still got our howitzer. That's all they got. Mercenaries, Grenadier Guards. Heavy horse howitzers, that's not great. Mortars as well, Grenadier Guards, Swiss Pikes. I might have to set my howitzers to be uh, doing counter battery work. So it looks like they're after my. They're after my. Uh, oh no, they're after the skirmishes. Well, they'll hold them off quite well. Thought Yago routed. Oh no, they come back. My howitzers are in position, so let's speed up time a little bit. Yeah, they can't shoot any further. Oh good, artillery. 24 pounder howitzers, let's give them an order to immediately get into position. Let's switch to round shot. How far are we doing? How good are we doing on range? Not far enough. So let's switch to quick climb. Hit that Grenadier Guard unit, or at least try to. These men are going to clear out that Swiss unit pretty easy. Case, then let's start to form a normal battle line. I might actually route, run these guys away to try and bring up some artillery. Try give the Grenadier Guards. Okay, it's actually going to take a while to get up here, but it will be still useful stuff. Okay, there we go. So they've broken. Good. Now all they've got to do is try and push against me. I've not got a very good cavalry contingent that would be quite useful to have. Let's speed up time because right now we are just... I mean, they can't hit me but I can hit them. We've got a good quick climb hit on the Grenadier Guards. Oh, just one second everyone, the doorbell is here. And we're back in the room. So, as mercenaries are going to go down because they can't match our firepower. Haha, <laughs> too far for quick climbs, sonny boy. So, I think I might push with my right flank. It's going to have to. Well, if I push, it'll have to be quite a concerted effort push. 
because we're going to be getting quick climbed all the way in by a lot of their by a lot of artillery. Okay, let's tilt this flank back a bit. is it's all about these artillery units up here they're covered by a weakened unit of Feltjäger but I think I could probably just push up through the town and absorb them at least once I got rid of these grenadiers there won't be anyone oh trying to go for my militia there we go those grenadiers are going down Actually, looks like they want, do want to push up through the town at us. Yep. Sound. Oh, goddamn sound. So these are very good artillery pieces. Yeah, by pivoting this line back, you know, they, they all engage that grenadier unit. They don't get. No one gets picked apart. A lot alone, not by like by the. Uh... Oh, that's a good hit. Okay, now they're just going to push up. Sweet. In which case, then they are doomed. So my twenty-four pounders are coming up. Although it's tempting to push out my right flank. Oh. Yeah, they're after my. Skirmishes. So I think 12 pounders and 24 pounders, they've still got. Actually, you've got a bit more range. So if we deploy up near the 12s, we'll have range to start doing some counter battery work. There we go. These damned irregulars. Let's quick climb them. Now they've committed to the centre of the town. It's actually quite tempting to then bring you guys up, you guys up, you guys up. It's quite a nice target ready for quick climb if you guys could fire now. The grenadiers that are running up, they can run and help support the right. Swiss pikemen to watch out for, and they're just tickling this regiment of foot with quick line. And the left flank is open for a potential rush, but then the grenadiers might intercept. Where's the mortars? They're back here as well, aren't they? The name of the game is to mow down these pikemen. And I think rush these guys up the right and probably rush these guys up the left. Like so. And then probably end up Are those the irregulars. Well, we have to do a general a general advance otherwise our flanking effort may end up getting picked off so those guys should be enough to cut down the pikemen you guys are in position so you can unlimber and probably start to fire round shot against the enemy I've got a mercenaries of <laughs> crept up to point-blank range. Run my grenadiers out on the flank. Let's 
so you guys fire it. Well, you men run. No, don't run. Front side of the grenadiers. Good job that quicklime came in when it did. Oh, they're just out of range as well. Right. I mean, that's totally not where the pathfinding should have made them go, but or whatever. Let's run around that grenadier regiment. You can just about hit them on the flank. Go on this colonial line to run around and hit them in the rear. That should break them. Yep. <clears throat> in which case then, all of you guys can push. The pikes made it into battle. Let's get my guys to try fight them. My militia finally gave up. Did they get quick line? Yeah, they did. You also run up. Should be Swiss pikemen have got more armor and they're a bit sturdier. Still the morale. That's how you beat them. Okay, let's just keep quick climbing my other. Units, yeah, they're still quick line running in. Don't walk. This is the thing when you got weak cavalry. I want you to quick line foot guards, I want you to quick line 40th foot guards. Actually, let's get you. Start quick climbing the felt jaeger. God, look at that! They just cut through you guys. If I can get the Swiss pikes, right? I need, pretty much need to take all of these men and just get them up there. because they've managed to make all of my troops, originally most of my troops actually sent up there to, to rout. Quick climb these Felt Jaeger. Again, sometimes the sound bug, I can't actually tell if they are doing it or not. So you guys hit the 12 pounders, you guys hit 32 pounders to the rear. There you go, my quick climbs come in. They've overshot. Yeah, they can't get their they can't get their uh, shells to drop quick enough to inset my men. Right when I get hold of some cavalry as well. So charge the guns and take them out of commission and the 18th can go hit well there's more 12 pounders 32 pounders four inch mortar battery you guys charge through and go after the mortars 21st can continue to attack the gun crews here You guys all attack Felt Jaeger. Let's stop our howitzers from firing. Keep attacking them. They've, they're routing. Okay, go hit the heavy horse howitzer unit. Go attack them. There we go. I think when the Felt Jaeger route, that should be everyone. go. You can kill most of them. I probably won't get them all. Nah. There we go. God, that was a bit of a messy one, wasn't it? Close victory. It was a bit dodgy. But now, 
Oh god, that's not a good garrison. <laughs> but at least it's pushed them away. It's bought us more time. There you go, the Spaniards. Yeah, raid right away. That's fine. The Ottomans are likely to declare war on us any minute now, but it shouldn't be a problem because they don't actually share... Well, they don't currently share a border with us imminently. Sweden's coming in. <sighs> You've made a big mistake, Sweden. I mean, I'm going to auto that because we've already annihilated them. Sorry, Plains Nations peoples. And I'll do it again. Glory. Although we lost 300 men to that. That tiny uh, depleted bow unit. Should never have made peace with Sweden. Should never have done it. So where are those... I didn't get a good read on it. So there's my fleet. Alright, so. Everywhere that has two ships. Scour. I'm fairly sure it's somewhere like up here, really. But I want to use ships down here in the Caribbean just to clear out clear out this region. Okay, good. We can be fairly sure they're not down there then. Actually, I know what. Can you get to... You can get to the Grand Bahama, so then this sloop, Palace, can leave. You embark. Then you check. Out there. Got another fleet to the north. I'm keen to try and not leave ports un unoccupied because it gives them more scope to screw with us. Hmm. Because, hmm. like, because I don't see them. I don't know where they've gone. Hmm. Well, wherever they land, we've got men ready, waiting, and geared up to take it back and if they do decide to do anything then uh, oh, actually then I am ready to just uh, destroy them so I, so I think I probably want to pick up the militia unit there ready to occupy the port the same here so the Hanover garrison is replenishing the Brandenburg garrison isn't even a garrison. Well, it is. Not an army, though. New men replenish. Let's get another unit of heavy cavalry and two units of infantry. Actually, let's get two fusiliers. Because we're holding them off. I could really, I should deploy more firepower into. into uh, France really but I want to hold this army ready in the event that Sweden declares on me and I can just sail straight to Finland and capture it um, probably also get 
start to get another 24 pounders yes please 32 pounders yes please get some lancers actually no not not cuirassiers we're in england although i can't get regular heavy cavalry so let's just get that and then let's pick up some chasseur à pied good enemy raid afoot yeah, i'm fine with you guys doing stuff actually to be honest that's a bit crazy recruiting fusiliers just get a line you need men. You have you to push if we want. Okay, let's drop them off here. Waiting for your orders. Let's get a Jesuit college. We've got some more raids. We've got another military tech. Orleans has been well we know it's been we know it's been raided, so let's send you guys to go and attack those Proud roving Spaniards. You men get back to March. Paris. Any further orders? Look, Ready for mm, okay. okay, let's do... Let's do some normal recruiting to try and... Wait, it's Paris. Why can I not pick any of this? Oh, your army board is still broken. Okay. Let's start to churn out some armies and push them east. Okay. Don't worry, sweet. You try it. You just try it. Well, I've got an army sat up there waiting for Finland to uh, act up. Well, these guys will march straight to Finland. This fleet here will probably sail and hit Gdansk. But then the big news, the big story, is what's going on over here? Because obviously we have destroyed the Indian faction, so you're on your way over. You guys... Okay, first of all, let's move everyone that can be moved. You are Waiting for your recruiting Forward. artillery. No, you are, sorry. Your orders, your majesty. You guys go down to this port as well. Your You're also picking up cavalry. You need one more unit of something, which you are already recruiting. Let's be honest, I may as well just have them all gather to the south. That's why I am picking up ships and men, and it does mean that we're getting some good conversion going on. You can stay where you are, helping convert Goa. Um, let's check infrastructure. I'm pretty sure it's all good, I just want to check. Alright, so you could do with building a church school, really, which you're building. Srinagar. Your building. Let's get some Gurkhas, actually. Let's start to churn out a bunch of Gurkhas. Build the maximum amount of Gurkhas we can get and start to filter them out to some of these armies. Let's repair the steam powered cloth mill. You. You're also heading over. You guys, to be honest, can pick up. A r hitch a ride over here. In position, your majesty. Let's get a sloop. The navy's are in a good spot to stay there, really. Okay, actually, I might even. Can you guys leave Lahore? Man, orders. You can. Excellent. Ready for so this guy is going to march down. What well, this guy? Theodore's going to push his way up through the Middle East. What we're going to do here at Lahore is pick up a another Indian army, but attempt to try and fill it out with more 
Indian mercenaries and Gurkhas. Well, I can't build anything higher than a... I can't build any hi anything higher than a three-pounder. That's odd. Well, I made a bad. Can you... You're the same. You can only build guard artillery here. Hmm. Can I honestly not build... Right, I can build 12 pounders. Build them at Udaipur and then move them up to Lahore. You carry don't serve a function, so you can march over. All these fragments march over. To be honest, this region is our staging point. So let's get a good fleet. Sail up to Bandar Abbas and bottle it up. I'm assuming there's a navy. Well, there's an army here. Lots of Kizilbashi cavalry and native lances. So let's well keep the uh actually maybe maybe it is best just to recruit some fifth rates. Oh no, from a eh. two turns is longer than I'd like. One turn is enough I can start actually uh pushing. So Philippe Vera, can you leave Naroon? You can, so let's start to build up a bit of a garrison and start to push towards Zahidem. And then, so you've picked, you're getting some artillery, you can also get some, get a core of e French East India Company from Lahore. So will Theodore to push, actually, yeah, do you push towards Afghanistan? Probably. Then around north, hit Persia. Arda build Tbilisi. Then we can start to hit the Swedish rear. Hindustan was a bit upset, but they're not upset anymore. Uh, you need heavy cavalry. No, you don't. You got heavy cavalry, you could probably... Ah, oh, you're right for some Gurkhas, I think. Kyolion can now be... Rebuilt. Good. Confident general. Sir. Put the territory and oh, do I just maintain? Oh, I'll just now maintain siege. Um. Okay. So we know the Swedes are coming after us. We don't know where, but we've got a navy to the north, which could probably do with. Some extra first-rate firepower. We've also got a couple of navies to the south. Uh, let's get one of these fifths over to Santa Ana de Coro. Let's take all these guys, less one fifth rate, and sell them to East Indies Trade Theatre. Same with this guy, really. Nika for Vernig, Vernig, whatever. You go over to the East Indies. Ready and waiting. Start churning out fifth rates. Start to build a fleet that can dominate the high seas, although that looks like Paramaribo. Oh, yeah, all their people have been enlisted. <laughs> Yeah, we do have, actually, maybe it would be a good idea to preemptively move my men to a port. And let's recruit a sloop. So wherever the Swedes land, we've also got an army to the north as well. Okay, let's pick up another sloop to the north as well to go pick up that army if we need to. Because they're not over up, they're not up here. Hmm. Okay, let's hit in turn and see where the hammer of hammer blow lands.
Because, yeah, it can be difficult to have... Oh, that's, that's not good. I mean, if Britain, if Britain does that, I'm going to sell straight for Corland and take him out. Yeah. Austria's still on the move. I do not want to intercept them near Dresden. I'm happy to let them raid. Paris still loves us. Spain is still sparring with the Brits. Aha! Near Curacao. Reverse port. Mm hmm You can send your agents this way, Persia. They demand... Well, they want peace, but they're not going to get it. Chop them up. Victory is ours. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not bothered about fighting that last battle against the Native Americans. Raid near Toulouse, that's fine. Ready and awaiting order. Intellectual advanced citizenship. So they've gone straight on to secular humanism, which is which is quite good. It reduces religious unrest, but I'm not so bothered about that. I might actually go for a bot abolition of slavery to get a overall boost to happiness for my lower classes. Construction report. We got some church schools built. Which is excellent. More church schools means more priests. Okay, let's do some merging here because we've got excess Capacity. There we go. Two new spots, freed up, and then filled up. Okay, so my armies are getting ready. Theodore, get up to the bridge near Punjab. You, Gaston Masson, you have some Gurkhas. Get to the crossing. Get ready to march over and hit this fella. We want to just hit this army, push them back, and then drive with Theodore afterwards. Got you recruiting. Let's get some Indian mercenaries. Ready and you waiting. keep pushing. To be honest, where's my spy down here? Get this spy to run towards Persia. Likely will not be successful. Let's check my agents in general. I don't think I've got that many spies at this part of the world. I've lots of priests. But it's all because we want... Well, I just want to convert the entire continent. But we have, critically, ships. Which we can now... Deploy our men. So if I set you to attack Persia, we land them here, which isn't bad. But I've got Bandar Abbas blocked up. We've got we've got complete freedom. So let's get you guys embarked. Also land near this in the same spot. I'm not putting them back in because I don't know how far Yeah, they don't get all the way back. Back into port. So you guys are going to meet up with this clump of units here. You guys can also move up in the next phase. You are going to fill in the gaps and help support any offensive action here. You guys can't leave yet, but you're going to get a lovely unit of Gurkhas. Yeah, you're not going to be you're not going to find raiding so easy when I've got another army out here just to kill you. 
General's bodyguard, two Crassier. Let's get a unit of Hussars. Sir. That's how many Hussars is how many units is that? Four units. Yes. Become 16, they can get four more units, and they will probably get some elites. Ooh. Let's get some four. The infantry petit vieux. Good. So it looks like they are. Okay, Dresden's now got walls, which is good. I might even take some of these weakest units out and do some swaps. So what? Two units of regular infantry. Two units of regular infantry. Light and one light and one heavy cavalry. Well, both the cavalry will do. Anything more? Get the cavalry into Berlin. Two elite infantry and a skirmisher. No skirmishers. Let's pick up a unit of infantry and get them in there anyway. More? Good. That'll reduce the recruitment burden while these guys. Come up to strength. You guys also pick up a another stack of infantry just to sit outside and spawn and be used as reinforcements. So you replenish, you replenish, you replenish. So the Swedes are down here with a pretty pants navy. So where's you know, I've got a couple of navies. You're within range. We've got this British fleet down here as well. That's a lot better with not many men on it. Let's get some troops recorded in Caracas. Recruit, recruited in Caracas. One of our agents got executed in Spain. It's going to happen eventually. Keep upgrading our stuff. Yeah, you're waiting for your moment. Put some garrison guards. So this, we're going to have two armies here. One's going to wait. If Britain lands, we're going to go straight for Yalgava. You're waiting to land in Finland. And we're just sparring with the Ottomans, I think. Elsewhere in Europe. Well, it's mostly this stuff in India that I'm... Well, I really want to push through Persia and start to hit the Ottomans and push up through the Middle East. That's what I'd like. Waiting further orders. So let's see. Britain's declared war on us. Sweden did not join them. Well, we're going to sail straight for Courland. You're going to regret that, Britain. Ooh. You can raid our ports, that's okay. I'm just going to go cancel it. <laughs> Next turn, just, well, hopefully cancel it, because actually it looks like I'm probably going to... Am I going to intercept? I'd like another turn to replenish, so I don't want to do it. No. No, no choice. <laughs> They've attacked us anyway. I could send the other army I've got southeast and attack them and free them up. I think Sweden knows war is about to be uh, declared once more because they're already moving their troops, as are the Persians. However, they're going to be in a pickle. Yeah, you can raid me, old mucker. Do I, I think I have? Do I have? To, I don't want. I don't like save scamming. I really don't want it. But it's a, look. The balance of power is fifty-fifty. I'm going to save it. 
Save it. I hate doing this, but I don't want to go in and fight just two native units. None shall defeat us. <laughs> I mean, I don't like save scumming. Well, my general policy on save scumming is if it's a battle that you don't know if you can win, then it sucks. That's a battle that I should definitely win. Another agent's ex. Oh no, that's one of our, one of theirs. One of their agents were executed. New town in Guatemala. So Britain deployed an army. Well, attempted to. <laughs> we're recruiting a bunch of dudes nearby to just uh, annihilate them. So let's take. I mean, you guys can go hit Melvin Crib and. Oh God, alive! Look at that. Victory yep. Ours. Nice one, Britain. You signed your own death warrant for that. And we took the last... With that, the Black Hills is ours. So let's destroy the gunsmith. Let's build better roads. Destroy the, sub the communal farming. Upgrade the fur exchange. And get ready to... Well, we need, the, we need the roads to be good so I can run this guy out. Run this army back. So that's two theatres we... Well, nearly two theatres we own. It's a bit of a peak of Persia there. Or Afghanistan, sorry. Camel nomads. They're... Not... Uh, not dangerous troops, but annoying enough that I can't just send militia to go kill them. But you men keep marching towards... Zahedan... You men march on to Esfahan. We're gonna have a couple of scraps down here, so I might even take get these guys deployed. Do I even deploy them both there? just head off the uh, yes, those two stacks there we go let's land off the coast there give them something to worry about there you go now you can guys can pick up all these we'll pick up those ships Benoit Ben Majero, Orgero, Ajero. Can you guys. The See, these, both these guys can get hit. Because they've taken Tbilisi as well. So that's why I need more men up here. Because when I attack Persia, I want to send armies, troops up to go capture these cities. And at war with Dagestan as well, so I'm going to secure this front and open up a front with Sweden. Ideally, before they declare war on me. I mean, what fleet is it? A Zhebek. <laughs> Forgot that was at war with the Ottomans. Okay, so you are going to pick up... Definitely artillery. Definitely howitzers. And you guys want two cavalry units. Let's get French East India Company cavalry and some cuirassiers. We also got this army here. Understand. So hey, Sloop Thetis, Ready. mother of Achilles. Been reading Stephen Fry's Troy, and it is pretty dope. I think it's a really good book. Some people have complained about how simple uh, he's made the story of the Battle of Troy and all the gods and so on. Um, but as a person that, as someone that was never really exposed to Greek mythology and so on, in in a, in any other way apart from osmosis, uh, I thought it's been, I thought it's been pretty good. And we do have another army here, well, one that can become an army. Let's march you over here. My spies aren't. I should have sent them by ship, really. Set them over to towards Baghdad. Can you guys leave Akbarabad? 
You can move up. And you can pick up a unit of gherkins. Good. Then Gaston Mansart, you're going to go hit. I mean, it, it gives us such bad odds, but I don't understand why. Their cavalry, their infantry is pants. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the first attack being launched on the Persians. Cheers, everyone.